So just an update, it's been about two weeks since I changed this uh, gasket and put this B&M um, drain plug in this transmission pan. And I did everything that everybody recommended that I do. I uh, got the little copper washer, put that on the inside. I torqued it down to the proper torque that it was supposed to be at. I even put um, <clears throat> Teflon tape on the threads of the drain plug. And as you can see, I still got a daggone transmission leak. So I'm taking this pan off and I'm gonna put um, the Dorman pan from uh, Advanced Auto. Well, I guess you could buy it from you know, various different places. But the one that's already got the drain plug in it, I'm gonna be installing that today because this thing's still leaking and I don't want transmission fluid all over my daggone driveway. Okay, so after everything, this is what I ended up doing. I, uh, after welding in that nut, for whatever reason, I could not get that old brass fitting the thread back in there. I don't know exactly what the problem was, but it was a weird size. Um, luckily, I had a bolt laying around that was about the same size. It seemed to be a little bit loose in the threads. But what I did was, uh, by the way, pardon my welding. <laughs> My welding skills there, I use a cheap little welder to weld this, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work as long as I got a good bead around the nut, which I did. It should seal it up. But what I did was I put some Teflon tape on this bolt. I cut it off to be the right length, put that copper washer in there, and it should not leak after this, hopefully. Um, if it does, I think what I'm gonna do is just buy a factory pan and uh, modify it again with a nut and a bolt that are actually the same freaking size. Uh, because my uh, consensus of this drain plug kit is that it's just straight garbage. Uh, the brass fittings are too soft. Um, it's, it leaks no matter what you do. You put Teflon tape, you use the copper washer. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, <clears throat> in regards to the other pan, when I was uh, looking at the pan before, I was like, I don't know if this thing's going to work because I think it's too shallow. If you look over along the edge that goes on the driver's side, which would be this side right here. There's hardly anything there at all, but that's not what ended up actually being the problem. It was the deeper part right here was hitting the filter and it wouldn't go on. So I was unable to use that. Hopefully this business right here takes care of everything. If not, I guess what I'll do is buy a factory, a regular factory pan without a drain plug, make my own drain plug with uh, a proper nut and bolt and call it a day. So, I hope all this information helps you out, helps you make a uh, proper decision for your vehicle, and uh, hopefully you won't have to go through quite the headache I went through to get this problem resolved. So thank you for watching, make sure you check out my channel, check out my other videos, and again, thank you.